but uh, we are proceeding uh, according to our uh, military plan. Uh, this is just the first day that we have witnessed. Uh, there will be more to follow uh, unless Mr. Milosevic uh, chooses peace and to stop uh, waging uh, war against uh, innocent civilians. Uh, it has to be made very clear that this is not uh, simply a U.S. operation. This is a NATO uh, operation in which uh, all 19 countries have joined in support. So this is Mr. Milosevic carrying on a, uh, a war against innocent uh, uh, people uh, within uh, Kosovo, contrary to uh, uh, the, uh, all of these nations who have joined uh, in, uh, in denouncing it. And what is the latest? Have you seen any indication that he is backing down whatsoever? Does that mean that things will continue on? I haven't seen any, any indication yet, uh, and that's the reason we're going to proceed according to plan, uh, again, uh, to deter him from moving against the uh, Kosovar Albanians and slaughtering people, uh, and failing uh, to achieve that, then to continue to reduce his capacity to uh, wage that kind of assault in the future. And what is the latest in terms of uh, MiGs that might have been shot down Yugoslavian planes? Well, we've had uh, confirmed reports that uh, two uh, aircraft, uh, Yugoslavian aircraft, were uh, shot down. Uh, there may be more, and we'll have to wait for further confirmation of that. Can you, if you were to describe this, uh, any adjective that you might give uh, on how this campaign is going? I resist uh, any temptation to uh, use uh, adjectives. Uh, I'm satisfied that we are progressing as we planned, and beyond that, I think it would be um, premature, and I don't want to get into the business of either expressing uh, any kind of uh, euphoria or disappointment. Uh, this is going to be a long effort, uh, unless Milosevic understands that the best opportunity for him is to come to the peace uh, table and to embrace the uh, the principles of uh, Rambouillet. That's uh, open to him at any time. We hope that he'll choose that. Have there been any new uh, airplanes, any U.S., uh, any more, more resources sent, any more planned at this point? Uh, we have all the assets uh, that we need to carry out the operation. And what about uh, in terms of one final warning to Milosevic? And anything further to say to him? Uh, there's no need for any final warning. Uh, that was the reason Richard Holbrook went uh, to Belgrade to meet with him, saying that there were, this was the last chance uh, to avoid uh, a military uh, confrontation. Uh, there's every opportunity at any time uh, Mr. Milosevic can uh, say that uh, he is prepared uh, to stop the uh, slaughter, to pull his forces back, and to uh, embrace uh, Rambouillet's principles and uh, to agree to a peaceful settlement of this uh, conflict. Is there anything you looked particularly, your eyes were red yesterday, as though you may not gotten, is there any nightmare that you've had about this operation? Uh, I don't think anyone ever sleeps um, peacefully when you're talking about putting uh, our men and women in harm's way and the risk of uh, unintended casualties on the part of uh, those uh, within Yugoslavia itself, within Kosovo. So I don't think anyone sleeps well. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. Thank you.